it's a great start from both of us. I'm side by side with Smith, and there is a little bit of contact in turns one and two. What's up, guys? Corey has a life here, and welcome to Fix Midgets. Whatever you like to call it. Maybe it's Speedway. The new National Speedway, yeah. Um, I know I haven't been racing on it lately, but uh, this was just a little bit of fun that I decided to try and get into. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the little bit of a show here. Um, we have a pretty good run, but uh, this is like, my second race in the this week, and it's uh, my first, my second time driving the music in a very, very long time. So uh, enjoy the show, and uh, hopefully we can bring home a decent result. Oh, smoking Jesus, titty cinnamon, that is a monster! That's gonna be sweet! Alright, here we go, time for qualifying now. And uh, two, t two laps to try and set the best time we can. Hopefully pole. If not pole, then hopefully not P2. Uh, with this being a fixed setup car, obviously I uh, can't change any fuel levels, so it's just straight out. Try and bang in the two best laps I can. It's first time through one and two. It's looking pretty good. Nice high line there. Not quite in the cushion, I don't think. Although, nice amount of cushion there for three and four. Pull it all the way around. White flag, last lap. And that's initially put us on the pole with the first one to set a lap time. 14.712. What can we do here on the second time of asking? We come across. And it looks like it was slightly slower, but we also just got pipped for P1. So uh, we'll come back in a second and see where we get. Alright, here we go. Heat race time. We ended up qualifying P3 behind it. The Dos Emersons. And, um, yeah, uh, there wasn't enough cars for there to be two heats, so uh, we're all just combined into the one heat race here. Now, hopefully, I can just maintain third, you know, don't slip to fourth, don't get up to second, and uh, we can uh, have a good start for the feature as we're off and racing. They have plenty of room there, so uh, Emerson Smith in the six car could uh, come down and take second. And uh, it's just a nice little line here, although it's a, a little bit more checkup than what I was expecting. Coming through three and four, that's a big wall tap. Didn't lose me too much in the end, though. Still uh, maintaining a nice gap to uh, Damon behind it. As uh, Emerson Shea, the leader, just got very unsettled down three and four. Gathered it back up, though, without a loss of position. Now it's just all about maintaining. Only a quick heat race, eight laps. We've already had one person falling victim. Uh, Trent in the pits in the uh, the eight car. We come around. We just got the halfway call, and I just set the fastest lap of the heat race of fourteen five eight seven. Down the back straight into turn strain four. So far, so good. It's so hard not to go for a move on uh, the six car here. It's so very tempting. But I know I don't want to do it. Maintain that P3. That's all I'm trying to do. We're on the penultimate lap. Go through one and two. The track is starting to get a little bit trickier to drive. You see that entire low line is just completely unusable because of how much slick there is. There's a little bit of slick starting to develop on the uh, the outside midline, so just down a little bit from uh, the wall. As we come through turn stream four for the final time, it's going to be P3 in the heat race here, which means a third place start for the feature. So stay tuned, that one coming up very shortly. All right, here we go now, feature race time. 25 laps to try and take home the win 
and the plan for this one is try to stick as close to uh, Emerson Shea as possible here on the start so that way we can try and just zip straight up into P2 because all the restarts here are single file and this will be my best chance at trying to get a move on Emerson Smith pace car is in let's go 25 laps of Lanier it's a great start from both of us I'm side by side with Smith and there is a little bit of contact in turns one and two sorry mate I thought I gave you room there's me apologizing on the radio thought I gave him plenty of room there uh, I think he might have been uh, maybe a little bit unsettled just coming off the cushion there a little bit which is why we had contact now we go try and chase down Emerson Shea, the leader. And he's not going to be easy to crack. He's a 3.1k. And uh, I'm no slouch either at a 2.7 as I just set the fastest lap of the race so far. 14.647. A lot of wall tapping going on and oh, Shea made a mistake. Couldn't quite capitalize on it. Wasn't quite close enough. And he's going to maintain the lead for the moment. But he's looking very wild there off on top of the cushion you see. When he exited the two there, just that little bit of extra slick right at the top. We're going to have to keep an eye out for that as the race develops. We'll start doing the same thing in turn four. So riding the cushion all the way around is probably the best thing we can do. As the field has uh, pretty much spread out here, we've got a big gap over Emerson Smith. It's a 1.1 second gap as we cross the line. Coming down the back straight. You see uh, Emerson Shea there, not afraid to get right up against the wall on exit. It's helping straighten his car up a little bit. And uh, it's helping him to uh, just maintain a real nice uh, straight angle coming down the straightaways. It's not exactly uh, the fastest thing to do every single lap though. Eventually the uh, damage will compound and uh, cause him some tyre issues. I had to run a little bit of a lower line there, couldn't quite get a good enough drive. As we continue on. There is a bit of a battle going on at the back of the pack. Between uh, the 8 and the 10. So I'm hoping, I'm praying that uh, they'll cause enough of a stack up between themselves when we catch them. That uh, I can try and capitalise on Shay. Yeah, good job, mate. And it looks like they've had contact as a car spun over there in turn three. And that is going to bring out the first caution of the race. And uh, due to the power of uh, editing, we're just going to zip forward straight into the restart. All right, the lights are out on the pace car. It's a one to green. We've got 10 laps complete when we get to the start finish line, which means just 15 laps to go. Let's see if I have anything for Emerson Shea here. He's been uh, pretty quick so far. It's going to be a hard challenge to try and mount against him. As he goes in the middle of three and four. Decent restart for me. A little bit too much wheel spin though, but we still stay with him. Already pulled out a little bit of a gap over Emerson Smith behind. Down the front straight we go. Close quarters with the wall. And that is a constant throughout the entire lap because we're just running the cushion there on both sides of the track in the corners. And then just trying to stick as close to it because there is still a little bit of extra grip right up there in the straights as well. Not so much right in the middle of the straights, but um, on the entry and the exit of the straightaways, there's that little bit of a cushion up there that gives you a little bit of uh, extra grip. And it looks like we're going to have another caution flag as uh, one of the cars, I think it's the 10 has spun at the back of the pack. So uh, once again, we'll skip forward till we get the one to green. All right, the lights are out once more. One to green. We're gonna be halfway through this race when we get the green flag. So I've got 13 laps complete when we get it. Which means just 12 laps to go. We need to try and chase down Emerson Shea here and hold off Emerson Smith. Let's see what we can do. It's gonna be uh, a hard challenge, but I'm down for it as uh, he goes again right in the middle of the turn three and four there as soon as the pace car was in. It's a much better restart for us this time. We're right on his tail. But the track is going away just that little bit more. 
I think this is where my ring rust is probably going to start to show a little bit because uh, it's very tricky kind of conditions right now. Especially with the way that slick is forming. And it looks like uh, the 8 car of Trent has uh, had some more issues. He got it going again, so we've got no caution this time. But now this is uh, what I want to get the 10 to go signal that time at the line. But maybe if uh, Emerson can just get stuck a little bit behind Trent here, we can try and mount an attack on him. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see if we can. It's going to be difficult. Especially with how difficult of a track this is. Going to have to pick my moment just right. And uh, pick the slider just right. As Emerson's right on his tail and it looks like Trent has actually got a little bit overcooked. He got into the slick. Too much gas in the slick there. He's gone sideways. There goes my chance. Unless we can get someone else to make a mistake. I don't know if my chances are going to be that good of someone else trying to make a mistake later on. But we'll see what we can get. Although Emerson Shea already has 0.6 of a second over me now. Laps winding down. It's going to be five to go this time at the line. On the plus side, it looks like no one else is uh, really struggling with conditions all too much. I have a huge gap over Emerson Smith behind. In fact, he's embroiled in a, uh, a battle there with a nine car of Damien. Oh, sorry, Damon. Go through turns one and two. And uh, I think I'm just going to have to consolidate to second place here. Shea is just pulling away from me like a man on a mission. He has almost a full second as we come out of turns four this time. 0.8 of a second. And uh, he's just really got a, a good lock on the way that the, uh, the car here dries in these conditions. As now we're on the penultimate lap. Two to go. And I'm trying to get all the grip from the cushion that I can. I'm trying to do it all without tapping the wall. White flag, last lap, last chance to win it or wear it. And I just don't quite think I'm going to be close enough to mount an attack on Shea. We come through turn strain four for the final time. It's going to be a good win, two. man. I've tried everything just to try and keep up with you. Thank you, mate. Good rest. Hey, number six. That is the way that the cookie crumbles there for us. Hey, Emerson Smith, too. So if you've watched the yeah. two at this point, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I uh, go check out my uh, my other cool channels, like some commentator channel. Yeah, that was close um, Speedway memes media, all that stuff. And uh, until next yeah, time, uh, good luck and fun, Sorry for die quietly, contact, and I I most importantly, <laughs> stay salty, friends. Yeah, that was me. I lost it a bit. Smoking Jesus titty cinnamon, that is a monster! That's gonna be swear!